Hi, I'm Janet Brindley and I've been teaching Buteco for over 20 years. Hopefully you've been practicing the exercises featured in the Buteco for Beginners video and you're now more aware of whether you're breathing through your nose. You'll have practiced some Buteco sets such as the mild air hunger set and you'll have been walking with nose breathing for at least 15 minutes each day. Today I'm going to guide you through this playlist of seven videos and two audio talkthroughs which can help you to move on to the next stage of Buteco training. So for these next few weeks and forever, continue to be vigilant with nose breathing. I've included a video featuring James Nestor talking to Dr. Rangan Chatterjee about the benefits of nose breathing and James's own experience of changing to nose breathing. The second thing and main focus of this set of videos is to do work on increasing your tolerance of air hunger. Now air hunger is what you feel at the end of a controlled pause and our aim is for you to be able to considerably lengthen the time and depth of air hunger that you can tolerate. Reduced volume breathing is the backbone of the exercises and Buteco teacher Mim Beam explains how to practice this in this video. The extended pause is similar to the control pause but gradually takes you beyond that point of comfort so that you experience a stronger lack of air. There's also a video on a quirky little exercise called the eye lift reflex that some people find really helpful when they're practicing reduced volume breathing. So these three are combined into a new Buteco set called the moderate air hunger set. There are two 10 minute audio talkthroughs available. This one is for people with a control pause of less than 15 seconds and this if your control pause is above 15 seconds. For best results and quickest results, you'll need to practice these three times a day. It's best to practice before meals. There are other ways to work on increasing tolerance of air hunger. Some people find it easier to learn to increase air hunger when they're moving. And so I've included this video by Mim Bean on walking with breath holds. Getting fitter is a big part of Buteco. And this video can help you to move on from the 15 minute walk to steadily increase your fitness in whatever sport or activity you choose without feeling short of breath all the time and without needing to take lots of puffs of reliever inhaler. The last video included in this list is by physiotherapist Lisa Haywood. You might like to try this exercise. It may help you to increase your awareness of your breathing. For some people it might be really easy or you may find it a little more difficult and then it would be a helpful one for you to practice. Remember you won't have to practice these Buteco sets forever. Once you've retrained your breathing you will have retrained your body and mind permanently. Buteco is a learnt skill. It's a bit like learning to swim or ride a bike. Once you're proficient at it, your body and mind won't forget what to do. So I would suggest that you continue to practice for at least a total of five weeks. By then, you'll hopefully have a controlled pause in the high 30s and an extended pause in the high 40s. And then you can start to taper the exercises down. A qualified Buteco teacher can help you walk this path, so get advice if you feel stuck. Finally, please remember Buteco only works if you practice the techniques. You won't get better by thinking or talking about it. Okay, thanks for listening. Bye now.